Hi, this is Ezra Royzen with uh, Vader.tv, the network for innovators, and we're here with EZ from VC Cafe, Hello. and we're uh, going to get some lessons learned from EZ on some of his experiences starting up uh, new ventures and facilitating the start of new ventures. So, if you had a few key points you would pass on to an entrepreneur, either from some startups you've had or startups you've seen through your platform, the VC Cafe platform, are there certain things that um, that you find to be kind of touchstone rules for starting companies? Well, there are a few. Um, it's a great question because I'm trying to figure out myself what are the lessons that I learn uh, every time that I get involved with a startup or every time I look at a new product. And I think the first, the first would be focus mm -hmm. and deciding what you're good at and what you're going to provide, what's the service that you're going to provide. I found that companies that spread out uh, too thin Mm -hmm. basically fail because they don't serve a specific need. So you need to decide what you're going to, what problem are you going to solve and stay, stick to that. Yeah. The second one would be um, sticking to it or being persistent. Mm -hmm. When I co-founded the startup in 2003, we, I basically spoke to 10 or 15 VCs and many VCs will tell you that they're not interested in investing or they will tell you, you know, come back in three months after you achieve your milestones and we can talk then. And the truth is that VCs don't invest in many companies, but they also don't like to pass on opportunities. Right. So what you want to do as, a, as an entrepreneur is to be persistent and keep the business cards, follow up, and try again in three months because you never know what need you're feeding for the VC. Mm -hmm. And then maybe thirdly, um, I would suggest startups to be sincere or right have full disclosure on what they're trying to accomplish right. and try to avoid words like revolutionary unless it's really revolutionary right. and put the cards on the table, tell the users you know, what the features uh, they should expect, like manage expectations basically right. and be great at what they say that they are. So in your area of expertise is Israeli startups and companies that are basically getting off the ground in Israel. Are there, um, in your sites about helping those sites form capital around their ideas, are there That's things correct. in um, the Israeli market and dealing with the U.S. market, European capital markets that you would pass on to, uh, um, to the entrepreneurs? Dealing with, with the U.S. market is a challenge by itself, not only for Israeli companies, for any company outside of the U.S., because there's a cultural difference um, that Israeli entrepreneurs need to uh, build a bridge to gap, sorry, to close the gap. Uh, but I would say that thinking big is the most important thing for an American VC. American VCs want to see scalability. They want to mm -hmm. see technology that's disruptive. And I think that if I had one piece of advice to give Israelis is just think big and be plan ready. it as if, yeah, be ready. Great. Well, thank you. That's Easy from uh, VC Cafe. I'm Ezra Royzen with uh, Vader.TV, and thanks again for sharing your words of wisdom. Thanks a lot.